Hey guys, after four months of waiting, I finally got my Blackmagic ATEM streaming bridge. The wait was worth it. For those of you who are not familiar with the streaming bridge, it's a little box that can receive the program signal out of an ATEM Mini Pro or Pro ISO, either directly from the Ethernet port on your switcher or over the internet between any two destinations in the world. So here's what I want to do with my ATEM streaming bridge. First, I want to get program out of the ATEM Mini Pro's Ethernet port. When I'm doing a live stream production, I want to be able to send multi-view and program to whoever needs it. Here's a diagram of how I'm using the streaming bridge and a Blackmagic bi-directional converter to address this. As you can see, the streaming bridge is able to receive program out of the ATEM Mini Pro's Ethernet port. That signal is then converted and split into two SDI outputs and one HDMI output. I'm sending the HDMI to a live view solo so I can stream with bonded Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and cellular connections. And it provides me two additional SDI outputs so I can send program over long runs wherever else I need it to go. I then set the HDMI output on the A10 Mini Pro to the multi-view setting and split it using the Blackmagic bi-directional converter. And I get one HDMI out and one SDI out. The HDMI out I send to my computer monitor so I can see what I need when I'm switching the show. The SDI I typically toss over a long run to a monitor for camera operators to see what's going on. I've also used this method in the past to send multi-view to a monitor in another room or another building for an audio engineer to see what's going on in the performance room. If you've ever tried mixing a rock band's audio from a live stream in the same room that they're performing in, you'll see why this is so valuable. In this scenario, we're going to try to send program out of the Ethernet port of A10 Mini Pro straight to the streaming bridge, which will then give us an HDMI out that we can send to this monitor. I have a camera plugged in to input number two on the A10 Mini Pro right now. So if, when this works, we'll be able to see the signal over here. To do that, we'll start by using A10 setup software. Uh, where we will go to the ATEM streaming bridge. You'll see I have the streaming bridge uh, and the ATEM Mini Pro both plugged into the computer over USB-C. That way the software will recognize it. So I'm going to go into the streaming bridge software and we want to stream uh, over the local network without key. Uh, if you're on a big network, maybe you'll want a stream key in there so we have more protection, but since this is going directly from the ATEM Mini Pro to the ATEM streaming bridge, I'm going to go without key. Then you'll go to external mini ATEM mini pro tab and you'll give it a name. I'm going to call it stream. Save ATEM settings. I'm going to also name this stream. It's going to save this file to your desktop. Hit save here. And now we're done with the ATEM setup for the streaming bridge. Now we need to take that file that we saved and load it into the ATEM Mini Pro so it pulls up as an option to select under live streaming platforms. To do that, we'll go to stream, load stream settings. I'm going to find the file on my desktop, import, and it's selected here. So now I just hit on air and we should start seeing the stream over on the monitor. There you go, that's it. If you have problems with this, you'll notice on air will be blinking, uh, then you have a problem. I would suggest uh, power cycling the streaming bridge and the ATEM Mini Pro, or at least just the streaming bridge. I had problems uh, when I was transitioning from streaming over the internet, uh, from somebody's A10 Mini Pro to my streaming bridge. Uh, after I had that set up, then I tried to do what we're doing right now, and uh, I was getting an error. So all I did was I unplugged the streaming bridge and unplugged the A10 Mini Pro, waited a few seconds, plugged them back in, went back through the process we just did, and it worked just fine. Another cool thing is that you don't have to use the software to hit on air at this point. Once it is programmed, you shouldn't even have to have the A10 Mini Pro uh, plugged
plugged into your computer. I'll go ahead and unplug it. Um, and we're still streaming. So it's A10 Mini Pro is not plugged into the computer anymore. And neither is the streaming bridge. So at this point, I should be able to turn it off with the off button so that it's technically stopping the stream. And I should be able to start streaming to the previous destination by hitting the button again. And there we go. So you're all programmed, just programming it at home with your, com with your computer, and then you should be fine out on site. So the second thing I want to do is receive program from somebody else's A10 Mini Pro or ISO over the internet. There are so many reasons why this could be useful. My parents are independent musicians and music teachers and have been getting into live streaming due to the pandemic. So I wanted to be able to help them produce their live streams without having to be in the same city as them. All right, hey dad, thanks for uh, helping me out here with this video. Sure. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make an XML file uh, from my ATEM streaming bridge and I'm gonna email it to you. You're gonna grab it, load it into your ATEM Mini Pro. Um, then you're gonna start streaming it to me and we'll see it, sh we should see it show up on my little monitor here. Okay. Okay, so I'm in ATEM streaming bridge uh, within the ATEM setup software and I'm going to get in there and since I want my dad to be able to stream to me over the internet if you have a firewall you probably are going to have to open up a port uh, such as this on my Orbi software you would come in here I go to advanced I go to advanced setup I go to port forwarding and then you would uh, choose the IP address that has been handed to your streaming bridge, um, which I was able to find within the software right here. So I would take that IP address and you would put it here and then hit add and then create a port. Um, and then when you come in here and you choose internet, because I want this person to stream to me over the internet, it looks to see if it can connect to the internet through this port. And as you can see, I can. Maybe over here, so now I have to go to external A10 Mini Pro. And I'm going to name this Dad to Django. And I can set this to whatever I want. Uh, streaming high is pretty high quality. Uh, Hyperdeck high is as high as it'll go. Uh, I'm gonna leave it streaming high, but my dad can change that on his own if he wants, once he gets it. But at least in this case, I can put something in there so he can just hit go. So I'm gonna save a ATEM settings, and this is going to save a, this is going to save an XML file. So I'm also gonna call this dad to Django so I don't get confused. I'm gonna hit save and hit save here. Now I can back out of the stream, this streaming setup. So now I have this XML file that I saved to my desktop that I just need to email to my dad. I'm gonna hit send. All right, so now dad, you should be able to share your screen and pop into your email and grab that XML file. All right, so he has the email now. So if you open up the email and drag the XML file to your desktop. And uh, then uh, you can see the XML file is just a bunch of text. Uh, essentially, it's code, simple code. Uh, but if we go to your ATEM uh, software control now for your ATEM Mini Pro, then we can go ahead and load that XML file. All right, so we're in here and you're going to go to, yeah, if you click on stream and go to load stream settings, because we're going to load this XML file. So now there it is right there. If you just click on that, hit import. And now you should see it over on platform on the right under live stream. There you go, dad to Django. Uh, see it brought the stream key along with any other information you needed to be able to stream. So now if you just click on air, 
it should start streaming over to uh, my streaming bridge. There it is. Awesome. Cool. So in this scenario, for those of you that are considering buying a streaming bridge, what's cool about it is my dad has his A10 Mini Pro uh, and he can have multiple cameras, he can have whatever he's got and he can send it to my streaming bridge and instead of this monitor, I could send his signal into my A10 Mini Pro. I would be able to send other things in there in addition if I wanted to, but what's great about it is then I can take from my A10 Mini Pro and then stream it to the web. Uh, I can bring it into Wirecast first uh, or OBS or Remix so that I could add graphics or run videos or whatever. Um, my dad and I could be on a phone call and we could have both have an earbud or something so that I could be in his ear so I can tell him what's happening next so we can communicate so I can let him know, hey, you're clear, you're off air, that kind of thing. Why don't you switch sources and just tell me now, now, let her like switch, switch, you know? Now. I see it now. That was about three seconds. So it's pretty good. That's maybe a little bit challenging if you're trying to have a conversation with somebody over this platform, but that's really impressive. So dad, you had a, a stream you were doing recently or some kind of a Zoom event you were doing recently where you had multiple devices that were doing, that were displaying sheet music uh, where you were also performing as part of this event. Well, your mom was recently uh, conducting a workshop for fiddles, uh, violas, cellos, soprano recorders, and alto recorders. And so it was a sight reading workshop. So we needed the music on the Zoom screen along with her. And so we had, um, she was on one computer and on another computer, I was streaming, sharing the screen of uh, PDF music. So the uh, viola music was on one side and the cello was on the other. And so then another camera was streaming the soprano recorder and the alto recorder and the then music. and the other computer was streaming the sheet music for the violin so and how many so, computer how many computers and ipads were you using to pull that off i think we used four in all devices and, uh, yeah and the <laughs> one uh and then we had another one just to monitor everything to make sure nothing went wrong because if something went wrong i might not know it now that we have this device and we've proven that it works between us it's still rolling um, uh, instead, you could just uh, send me the content ahead of time. I could uh, organize it in OBS or Wirecast or some other program like that. So I can kind of have it prepped and you'd be able to just uh, stream your content straight to me over the streaming bridge. And then I'd be able to stream it to whatever destination you're contracted to stream to or that you choose to stream to. Uh, and I would display your content. Well, Dad, I think uh, I think we've proved what we tried to prove. I think we showed folks how to do it. Um, you and I originally had a challenge. I want to mention to people of uh, uh, in the uh, in the ATEM control software within the streaming bridge, where it was telling us that it didn't have an internet connection, and that's where we realized that I needed to open a port on my end, the receiving end, that would be a port that you could send content through uh, because you had the port uh, and IP information. Um, so if you're doing this uh, like at a corporation, if you're like at your company, you might need to talk with your IT administrators in order to open up a port. They might not allow that. So consider that. Uh, make sure you contact them ahead of time if you're planning on doing some kind of event with uh, technology like this. But if it's at home, you should be able to get into your uh, network controls within your router yourself and set up a port uh, port forwarding. Um, and there's probably a lot of uh, a lot of info on on. The, I'm sure there's a lot of info on the web that explains it better than I can. So I think that's all we needed to do, Dad. I really appreciate your help.